Shalom, Jake. Shalom. The elder, well, yeah, from St. to Jersey. The brothers from uh, St. to Jersey. The elder had a dream. And um, I'm going to let you hear it. Now, I had a dream about two years ago called um, Apostle Tahar is close to midnight. Now, this brother got up in the wee night hours and put this dream up that he had. Now, in this dream that I had, it was very similar. They were, they were parallel. Now, I posted his dream saying that brothers are having similar dreams. Now, we're going to play his video and I'm going to tell you what happened when I had this similar dream. And that's why we tell you, you know, th there's a there's a spirit out here that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is allowing to be placed on Jake's that believe in this true gospel. And if you notice, we're all saying the same thing. All right, that's just like when I had a dream that I seen us in FEMA camps. And the one of the ones of us who escaped, the angel let us out. We all heard the same, the same voice at the same time. But no one else could hear it, only us. But what the angel did was the angel opened all the cells to cause confusion amongst the guards because the criminals, the thugs, the people that was in the FEMA camp that belong in there, they all was allowed out of their cells to create confusion. But us who heard that angel's voice, we all knew to uh, go out the right side exit. And we met him at a gate and he was slightly invisible. And then that's when I woke up. But yeah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we all heard that same voice. Everybody else in the prison, they was all fighting each other and fighting guards. And we, we escaped out of the prison. Call her law, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Right? So we're going to get a scripture. We're going to let this play. And I'm going to tell you how my dream parallel with this. Okay? If you want the link to the dream, I'll repost it or, or remind me so I can put it in the comment section. So let's get into this. John 10 verse 27. My sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My father which gave them me is greater than all and no man is able to pluck them out of my father's hand. Call her lawyer how bashim Yahweh Let's get into this. Barakatha Hawa Barakatha Hawasha Barakatha Hawa Barakatha Hawasha Barakatha Hawa Barakatha Hawasha Call her lawyer Hawa Bashim Yahweh Bashem Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the prophets. Shalom and salutations of those that teach the likewise doctrine. Shalom to the Akim and the Aqua. Shalom to the Israelites scattered across the four corners of the earth. May the most high and the sun be with you during these trying times. Alright. Now we're gonna let this play. And we're gonna show you um we're going to, um, I'm going to um, tell you about some of the parallels in this dream that I had. All right. So, yeah, let's let it play. I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. Now, it's dark right now. It's in. It's about uh, 3 a.m. in the morning. I'm doing this recording. That's why it's all black. So Salakia, that there's no uh, no still, no image or anything. You know, I'm in my front room. Uh, the spirit 
jumped on me and said, record this dream I just had so I won't forget it just in case I doze back off. So this recording is really for myself so I can remember in the next few hours. Um, okay, inside this dream, um, there was a, um, a, a gigantic UPS truck that picked up my wife and I think my, I have four kids. Uh, so it picked up. Now, I'm going to show you something. I believe it's, this is the elder Yashawamba Remnant Save 144. Or it might be one of the other uh, Dallas brothers. Look, he said, wow, I had a, a dream dealing with food last night. I posted it. <laughs> now, <laughs> in this brother's dream, he dreamed he was giving food. And he seen Yashawamba's face. The angel was using, um, like, like his face is like a screen cover, right? So when he was dealing with the angel, he would see Yasha, Yasha Wamba. Now, in that dream that I had called uh, Apostle to Hall, clo it's close to midnight. I seen all them, all the elders. I seen them all on platforms. And the world was going crazy. And in this dream, we had a whole table of food. You can eat all the food you want. The crazy thing is that we cannot give none of this food to the people that was out in the darkness. The word was sealed. The testimony was done. And that's the one person I recognized was Yasha Wamba. And Apostle Taha was like, here, take a plate of food. And in this dream, the brother also was helping one of the angels, um, he was carrying an angel sandwich or something like that. Now, I had to help carry the food. See? It's like we all got a very similar spirit. I mean, I'm one of them jigs that came in at the 11th hour. I mean, I listened for a few years before I really started putting um, up any videos or anything. Because you got you, you to gotta be like a newborn baby in this truth. You got to unlearn everything that you learn. In order for you to uh, learn this, the, the uh, correct doctrine, right? Let's let this finish playing. Two of my kids, I think it was two of my uh, my two daughters, and took them to get vigils, you know, for the house because we needed this. Um, I didn't go. I don't know why I didn't go. You know, I didn't know the, the, these people, but I, you know, I felt like I knew them and they took them shopping fast you know by the time i sat down in my car they already had dropped the food off they went shopping went upstairs dropped the food off and it was taking them back to get some more food um that's what i remember they didn't tell me but i just knew so i just let let let, let them go and i sat inside my vehicle and when I sat inside my vehicle, I just remember um, a few people walking across the street. Um, some Edomites were around. Some Jake was around. The next thing you know, the people just started turning on each other. And I mean, they, when they started turning, they was like, it was just like simple, just arguing about petty stuff. You know, why did you do this? You, you know. One elderly couple, I remember, the man started going off on his woman because his car wouldn't start after they came out the restaurant. And he would start saying, it's because of you, because of this dinner. Everything is because of you. It's like everybody started complaining to each other. It's because of you. It's because of you. It's because of you. They're just complaining, complaining to each other. So they started fighting. So I, this one couple started fighting. And... The children runs to my car. Now I'm looking at everything. I'm sitting in my car, and they bang on my window for help. You know, and the father of this family, I mean, he was going upside the head, and I could have swore he was pulling out some type of weapon. So the mother run over. She banging, help, help, help. And the kids banging, help. And I'm like, hell no. I lock my door because I'm looking around. Everybody's going crazy. And uh, uh, it looked like they was looking at my vehicle. I don't know if I was the only one with a car that worked, you know, but I started backing up 
and I started pulling out of the driveway to escape. And as I'm pulling out, I see other couples arguing, they arguing and fighting. And it's just, it's just the arguing, just, it's just turning up to, to violence. And then they see, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to pull out. So they block in my car. And then whoever that was that was driving my wife around appeared to me and took me out of the car. Like we walk through the car. You know, I didn't put the car in park or anything. It just swooped me. I don't know if it just took my spirit. It just took me out. And we started, we ended up in another location and we started walking. And this location was no fighting, nothing. You know, there was some people in there moving. It looked like a mall. You know, it was really lit. It was light. And we walking. And I remember walking and I'm carrying, you know, a sandwich. This this is a nice, nice, healthy. Now, he said he was taken to like um, a mall type building that was lit. I was taken to a building and we was on a third <laughs> and call hello. Yeah, I'll watch him. Yeah, I'm actually getting chills just um, listening to this. We were taken to a building. It was a huge building. And we was taken to the third floor. And it's crazy because it was all that soul food in there. And you could smell it. I remember it being um, soul food. It was a uh, baked chicken cabbage and mashed potatoes your quintessential soul food you know and a lot of times these sandwiches and this food and these dreams this deal with you pushing out the word you know but it also symbolized that jake gonna be good when all this chaos is um happening jake gonna be good actually let me get it and this AI in my phone, if you got a Samsung phone and this AI keep popping up in your phone, can you say something about it? Because I don't know why this AI overview is in my phone. I don't remember signing up for no AI on my phone. This is my old phone. Okay. All right. Isaiah 65 verse 13. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Yahweh, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You see that? Now, hey, these are the times that we're living in. But you get ready to see all these things come to pass. Like I said, I've seen... I, like I told you, I believe a lot of these brothers are the first fruit. You're going to have Jake's come out of other camps. But like I said, I believe it was like a whopping 85% that came out of um, GMS camps. And if you don't like me talking about GMS, go watch somebody else's videos. I believe that those are the men and those are the men who made an example for us to follow. You know? Because I had somebody come on my comment board and say something about them. Go follow some other people. Unsubscribe. You don't like what I'm saying? It is what it is. We're trying to wake you up to these scriptures. So most high, the Most High can have mercy on you. Hopefully we want them to have mercy on us, right? And we get beamed up. So continuing back this dream to, uh, to her was like, here, have a plate. And I got me a plate of food. You know, and shortly after that, I woke up. But the world was in turmoil, man. And we had lights on in this building. We, we was comfortable. All right? We was good. And I seen them brothers on the platform get ready to leave. They was get ready to be beamed up. All right? Let's go back to the brother's dream. See, I remember, you know, um, big like a, a Jersey Mike something, something. And you have hefty and it was it was hot and it was it was it was for this person now this person actually turned into elder yashawamba from dallas texas and that's why i say I, 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 this this had to be an angel you know why he was choosing these different faces i don't know and that's the one i seen i seen uh elder yashawamba he was he was um the first person that i noticed on the platform the apostles, they was, they was like down in the front, and um, Apostle Tahar was in the front. But it was um, 
majority of the elders and um, a lot of the jakes, they was on this platform, right? It was like, um, literally like Apostle Tahal was handing out a lot of plates of food to um, different people. And um, we ha it was like we had to go in on a platform after them. But we was in the building. We was good. Okay, we just couldn't help nobody else. That's why I told you that I seen um, I seen a hierarchy in these different dreams I've been having. All right, it was like it was levels to the elect. You know, like like um, the people that you're meeting now, it, that um, we believe through faith, or uh, um, the elders and the apostles. Yeah, it was a ranking system. They was still higher in the um, in the future. Yeah, they still, um, they had higher rank, um, than us, right? But we was, we were still elect men, okay? Like I told you, I dreamed I was one of the 144. These are just dreams, man. You do with it what you want to do with it. I'm not saying that I'm that. It was just in a dream. I was way, way down on the bottom somewhere. I, like I said, I came in in the 11th hour, where's though other jakes, they was doing stuff way above the firmament and stuff like that. But it was still amazing, man. So, um, let's go and let this finish playing. But, yeah, I noticed uh, Yasha Wamba, right? But, um, you know, I listen to the elder a lot. You know, I get a lot of, you know, um, understanding and the scriptures and stuff, you know, from the, you know, elder there. So, uh, it might be why he chose to use his face. You know, so he has his face on. So it looks like the elder Yashawamba. So he, he's, he's, um, he's, he's, he said, just carry the sandwich. You know, he said, that's my sandwich. We'll walk. He said, that's my sandwich. He said, your sandwich is inside the truck. He's, you know, and I'm um, just looking around. It was some other, you know, Aki and Woodham, and they, everybody had a sandwich. <clears throat> it was wrapped in his foil. And he was like, you know, big healthy sandwiches. And he was telling, like, mine's, that's it. I was carrying his, but mine is inside the truck where I guess we were going to. So we walk in and then he started to detail that he knows my, you know, I have a few, 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 I'm not as healthy as I should be. You know, I got some elements going on in my body. You know? Yeah. And then, um, he goes into uh, different ailments and stuff like that. Um, all of us, we have, right. So, um, yeah, like I said, I had a similar dream dealing with food. And if you look in the comment section, uh, Elder Yasha Wamba, he just put up that he dreamed about food last night. Let me let me find that comment because I'm actually going to post something to uh, Elder Yasha Wamba. Yeah, see, I had a dream dealing with food. Let me let him know that he was in that dream and we all had food. Yeah, I dreamed mm -hmm. Apostle Taha gave us all food. Mm -hmm. Also, Shalom Elder. So, yeah, I'm going to get a scripture and leave it there, Jake. But, yeah, a lot of us are having similar dreams all of a sudden. So, something is getting ready to happen. And remind me, I'll put the link to the brother's page in the uh, comment section. But, um, yeah, I'll repost that dream. It was from about two years ago. But this dream that he had gave me a feeling that um, we may be out of here soon. Most high willing, I'm part of that election. All right? So, yeah, I'm going to get a scripture and leave it there, Jake. That was a beautiful dream that the brother had dealing with food, his family, and the angel letting them know to hold on. Yeah, hold on, Jake. Hold on. Don't let no man steal your crown. So, yeah, I'm going to post uh, two more scriptures, and I'm going to leave it there, Jake. Isaiah 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge will be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Revelation 3, verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, 
which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. And we know that's getting ready to happen. You see what's going on? These banks, these banks are collapsing. Um, I just did something on Cuba. They uh, said that they're being forced to use the CBDC. Uh, okay, a lot of different things are happening. Russia just uh, threatened uh, Great Britain. Okay, you got these different uh, pandemics. I just did something on it uh, yesterday where as though these dogs, these cats, people, animals are getting sick. Okay, Revelation 3 verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. You see, stay, stay with this word, Jake. Let's get ready to get bumpy out here. Revelation 3 verse 12, him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from my God, and I will write upon him my name. Call Allah, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Shalom, Jake, and I'll see you again real soon.